Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Living in a tiny house can be challenging. So, especially when you've never lived in a tiny house before. So I've been living in a tiny house for two years and I have pretty much needed help on some problems that have been going on in my house. So my viewers give me suggestions in the comments below. So I write them all down and I take all of them into consideration, doing pros and cons on all of them. In today's video, I'm going to shout out 10 of those people because I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the comments that you leave. I appreciate your suggestions, your advice. No, I don't take all of them, but because I'm so new to this and I don't know what to do, any suggestion helps. So without further ado, let's get started with the shout outs. Number one, do you guys remember when I used to have a problem with the catwalk and the litter getting inside the wall? There's a, there was a hole in the wall and I did not know how to fix it. Well, shout out to Regina Osborne because she told me to put a piece of quarter round on the entire length of the wall. And since I've done that, there has been no litter getting within that hole in the wall. Regina Osborne has a tiny house herself called Minito. You guys can check it out right here. And she even sent me a picture of what she did in her tiny house to remedy that probably that same problem, but not for cats. Um, she has quarter round in her whole house and this is the first place that I have quarter round. So thank you so much, Regina. Number two shout out goes to the Rifleman336. He saw in one of my videos, he noticed that I had tons of cords running from here to where I used to have my TV. I took away the tripping hazard, but that was when I had my TV over here and wh where I had to actually extend all of the cords. Now that I have my TV up there, that tripping hazard is out of the way. So shout out to Rifleman336, thank you. Shout out to Danny Brown and Shorty Robbins. Thank you so much guys for giving me the suggestion to get a swivel and put my TV up on the wall or ceiling, but I chose the wall. I used to have it over here on the side table and that's why I got the cords out of the way, but this has been a good remedy for me because I it's out of the way over there. The TV can't fall. It's not on the wall where it used to be over there where I can't see it. So this is up and out of the way and I just created created a bunch of space in my bedroom. So thank you guys for your suggestion. You guys may know Shorty Robbins. She runs a tiny house group on Facebook called Florida Tiny House Enthusiasts. You guys can check it out right here. And my next shout out would go to Carol Williams. Thank you so much because you suggested that I zip tie all the cords that I had dangling down here. I had no idea what to do with them. I thought about the PVC stuff, but then I thought that I'd have to find a place to put the PVC and it's hard and bulky and I didn't want to do that. So, but it's still on my suggestion list. So if I do need to resort to that later, then I definitely will. So the cats didn't get to it. I had to put a card piece of cardboard over it. So um, they are all zip tied up there and out of the way. Thank you so much. The next shout out goes to my sister Dana. Thank you, sister, for helping me figure out my electric bill. If you guys can remember, I had an electric bill for $173. You guys can check out that video right here. I took my sister's advice and I switched around a couple things on my thermostat thing. And I also changed a few things with space heaters and I also started putting on hoodies. So because of that change, my bill started at $173. I did get it down within the video about $20 each time. But since then, it has also gone down from that, from this to this to this. So I'm in the 60s and 70s range, so I'm basically saving $100 a month from what I used to. So thank you so much, my sister. I love you so much. I don't know what I would do without you. Shout out. The next shout out goes to Erica Jowett Hurst and Teresa Farkas for giving me the suggestion to put Velcro and rug tape on my rug so that when the cats are running around and sliding all over the place, which my rugs used to slide all over the place, they gave me that suggestion and it has worked well ever since. So thank you guys so much. My next shout out goes to Sherry Fuller. Thank you so much for giving me all your suggestions about what to do with all the extra little stuff that I have in my house. So 
I decided to get rid of the single purpose cores, so the apple core and the mango core. I decided to get rid of all of the guest items because I don't really have any guests and when I do, they brought their own stuff. So I was just trying to be, I don't know, resourceful uh, in the fact that I wanted to have things prepared for people, but I got rid of them. So next thing that you helped me with is I got rid of more books. You guys remember that video um, where I decluttered my books again. You guys can check out that video right here. I got rid of about 50 more books, so I only have about 50 left, and it has made my living area look less cluttered. So thank you so much, Sherry. Another thing that you have given me a suggestion for is to get rid of single-use utensils, like one set of measuring cups. So I did get rid of one set of measuring cups because I did not need to. I also got rid of one set of funnels because I didn't need to. Uh, you guys remember my uh, kitchen drawer reorganization. You guys can check out that video right here. Uh, that's where I got rid of a lot of these extra items that I just didn't need. So thank you so much, Sherry. I loved those suggestions and I'm gonna continue taking your suggestions. And next, a big shout out to Joanne Thompson for giving me the suggestions to get a fruit and vegetable cargo net. But instead of getting a fruit and vegetable cargo net to clear space off of my counters, I actually got these chicken wire baskets that I hang on the wall. Now I can set this whole thing down and I have all my other things up here. I got rid of my knife block like you suggested, but instead instead of getting the magnetic thing on the wall because I didn't think I was gonna have enough room. And not only that, my cats do climb up on the counter and they do play up there, I don't mind. So I decided not to put the magnetic block, but I did get the big block off of the counter and I put them in my drawer and I actually like them a lot better. So thank you so much. Shout out to my friend, Miss Shay Shay. Thank you so much for suggesting a double boiler. I have made a couple business items since then and this thing has come in handy. I absolutely love it. So you mentioned in your suggestion within the comment that if you have enough room for it. Well, I don't have enough room in the cabinets, but I chose to keep it here. It's out of the way, but it is teal, so it matches my decor and stuff. So thank you so much for that because for like a business aspect, that was a huge help. So thank you so much. Last but not least is my favorite thing of all, my favorite suggestion so far. Thank you so much, KJ Becker, for recommending and suggesting a freshette. So I was peeing through a funnel before. It was like a cooking funnel. It's not shaped to your body, so you kind of had to hold it up against you, and you did not. It it could trickle in the back, and it didn't really work. So. KJ recommended a freshette and I looked at a couple of them on Amazon and there was another one that I bought but it was like hard and I didn't like that so maybe I'll just save that for travel but I did buy this and it curves to your body it's silicone it cleans easy just rinse it off it is amazing it, nothing goes in the back and it I love 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 it so thank you so much KJ Becker yay so how was that for some viewer suggestion shout outs. I love the fact that you guys give me these suggestions because I don't know what I'm doing two years you know, down the line. Sure, I can ask Google, but all of your guys' suggestions make me think that either you have experience with it or you view my situation and you can help me instantly. So I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and click that notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. I decided to take them up and put them behind here. So, and then I put them up in that... What's that thing called? Outlet. I'm losing my mind. She runs a Facebook group on, she runs a Facebook group on Facebook. She runs a Facebook group called Tiny House, Florida Tiny House Enthusiasts. So, and Tarika, Tarika, <laughs> Teresa Farkas, you guys can see right here. Um, well, right here. I have gotten rid of, hold on.